Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is British Guy Gaming. Today we're doing the fifth episode of Southampton Saviors. Today we are going to be playing Aston Villa and Crystal Palace. Since you were last with me, we have I've got we got a surprise win against Chelsea, which was a shock to me. But we also beat Wolves and unsurprisingly we lost to Arsenal. We still sit fourth in the league, and I think this is just on goal difference. It's not anymore. We're actually ahead on points by Bournemouth. And beating Chelsea really did help push us away and keep us right on the back of United. We can see Liverpool and City are just going to storm away, but it'd be good to finish top seven, because that'll be European football. I'm expecting us to fall around here. But anyway, let's show you the team we've got for today's match. We have got Maigan in goal with Walker Peters, Jerome Bednarek and Ryan Bertrand on the back. Ward Prowse and Halsberg in the middle with Musa and Redmond on the wings. Uh, with Buffal just behind Danny Ings. This is a must win game. Because it's, it's the team we should be beating, especially at home. But Danny Ings' form has been kind of a... Uh, Iffy, to say the least. So hopefully, he rectifies that and he helps um, pull the team together. We should be winning this one fairly comfortably. They didn't care for that. But faith is now something that works. Which um, shocks me. I um, can't do it too many times. Although I just feel like, whoa, kind of faith in all of us. But I do think we'll be the better team and we'll show everyone why. There are threats, but so are we. We can't be scared of these sort of challenges. Absolutely, he is not ready to start the match. Hopefully, it's not like the Bulls game where it's 50 years long. But, all right, so the first highlight, Ryan Bertrand tries to get the ball to Halsberg, but they've cleared it away to Grealish, who is really their only threat. They've <laughs> taken a risky pass, passing it back, but it may work out for them. They're coming forward with a man whose name whose name I'm not even going to try and pronounce. He's running forward. He smashed it in. Sixth goal of the season for them. But uh, Usma Idrizi. Never heard of this man before. And I think that's a PSV kit. In his uh, picture there. I'm not sure, but that... I wasn't expecting that. That is unacceptable. I'm going to demand more, even though the highlight's going on now. Ball is up to Buffal. Let's see where this goes. Buffal just dribbling through. He's taken the shot. I thought that was going in, but it's just gone wide of the post. We move on. We've demanded more, but the team's just not responded. Carl Walker Peters, big throw to Danny Ings, and he's just missed it. It's gone to Adrizzi again, who's lumped that up to Wesley, to McGinn. But Ward Prowse has just dispossessed him so easily. Danny Ings, he's through on goal. He smashed it, but it's been saved by Heaton. We have got a corner. Ward Prowse will swing this in. Hopefully, Jerome will just smash his head for it. Ward Prowse, and he just quite, can't quite get there, but it has fallen to Buffal. We've got on the edge of, of the box. Holdersburg's just passed it back to Ryan Bertrand and the highlights just teetered out. And now we are focused from that demand more. Aston Villa once again on the attack. They have pulled it back. If I look down, their form is actually better than ours and they have risen up the table quite, quite quickly. But Musa here has passed it to Holdersburg, who's hit it forward all the way to Redmond to Bertrand. Bertrand has been forced to play it back to Holdersburg. Ward Prowse tries to get over top to Musa. He's gotten there, but he's just left the ball too far behind. And Tyrone Mings, he's just picked that up. And Aston Villa on the counter, but they've just hit it straight to our centre back. He's doing the thing where he dribbles straight forward, like rolled in against Arsenal the other day. But Ward Prowse, he's tried to curl that onto Holzberg. He's taken a long shot and he's slivered past the post. We're putting a good effort in. We're putting a good, a good effort in. Shouldn't, mean having, shouldn't have to do this. We should be winning, but you know. We'll get creative. Team's inspired. We make, we're, we're doing things. We're doing things. Arsenal being Watford 2-0. 
they're putting pressure on us. They'll be two points behind us if we don't do something about this game. Olsberg here, he's got it. He's hits the ward prowls. It's the man I trust. It is him, and he's just booed it straight into dead defender. <laughs> well, here comes Walker Peters. He's trying to hold off the player, but he's hit it all the way back to our keeper. Wesley here is putting on pressure. I'm a little worried, no, but he's managed to get it to Birch, and we're just going to start playing it from the back. Taking our time, playing slow, methodical football. Until inevitably someone just hits with a big lump. Ryan Birch now is going to try and dribble. Going on the overlap. Got it to Redmond. He's just dispossessed. But it falls straight back to Bertrand. He takes the shot and it's just into the side netting. We uh, Ward Prowse is unsurprisingly frustrated. We're going to ask for some passion to end this half. But... Not winning this game is outrageous. Tottenham are luckily beating Bournemouth, so they're not gaining on us. But um, aggressive, where's your passion, lads? We need a big turnaround in this game. Danny Ings might have to get dropped because he's he has been abysmal. But here we go. We had a they had one shot on target and scored. One shot target and a half chance, and they've scored. We've had a clear-cut chance, a half chance. I mean, granted, only three of our shots have been on target, but we shouldn't be falling behind to something like this. It's, <laughs> it's just not right. But here we go. Bednarak, he's passed it to our keeper. We're going to start playing it slow again. Oh, the highlight will teeter out, hopefully, because Wesley was getting a bit close there, and that did worry me. But Ryan to Hallsberg. We're going to just slowly push the ball forward. He's hit it up to Musa, who's going to try and dribble past number four. He's gotten past this man. Can he get past another? He just takes the shot, but he's straight into Heaton's hands. There's no chance of him ever getting that in. 60th minute, so that's a substitution time for me. Danny Ings once again. It's just been shocking. We'll bring on Che Adams. Hollisberg's not had a good game, so we'll bring on Romeu, who... You wouldn't have seen this been the other game. He scored an absolute screamer. Changes haven't gone through yet, but um, we've got another highlight. Watford have just pulled one back against Arsenal. Which, you know, as much as I love Arsenal, I don't, don't fancy him overtaking us for fourth. I like it here. We lose our game in hand as well on uh, Man United, but Moose has played that into Wings. I think Ings is offside. Bufal's hit that over. It turns out Ings wasn't even offside. That was that was shocking attacking football by us. Once again, we're now in the 70th minute and we've we're not doing anything here. I'm trying to think what what can we do? We'll bring Che Adams down, Bufal here, and we will bring on Shane Long. <laughs> I keep mocking the man, but he really is the man I'm going to cling to for any form of hope. Once again, the highlights playing before the changes have gone through. Redmond's running. It's got to Buffal. Back up to Ryan Bertrand. Back down to Redmond. He's just been dispossessed, but Ryan Bertrand stays. He's crossed it into Musa, and he's just not got there. But Walker Peters has pushed it back in, and Musa's put it past the post. Oh... Now, now it's desperation time. We'll get creative. Bertrand and Ward Prowse have gotten tired. Kyle Walker Peters has lost his leg. Ward Prowse, he can get a good cross. And if Shane Long can get his head to it, Shane Long, fifth goal of the season. That's going to be Ward Prowse is about a seventh assist. Him and Danny Ings are going head to head on goals. Now, if one of them could just be consistent, that'd be brilliant. We have got that silver guy coming in. The man who signed for Wars in real life. But now it's all to play for. I'm going to ask them to push forward. They're probably going to get annoyed by this. Yep, frustrated. I knew it was coming the second I pressed it. But there doesn't seem to be another high line. It's ended 1-1 at home to Villa. We're not good enough today. It's the match we should be winning. Even though, I mean, Ward Prowse had a great game once again. If we want to get European football, which I'll be shocked if we do, but if we want it, we've got to win them type of matches. And now we've got the first, second game against Crystal Palace. As you can see, both Carl Walker-Peters and Jerome are suspended.
but we'll have a look at the team before we go into it once again we've got Mygan in goal but we've got Valerie and Vestergaard replacing the two suspended players with Bednarek and Bertrand finishing the back line Ward Prowse and Hausberg make up the centre of the park Redmond and Musa on the wings with the injured Armstrong returning to go just behind Shane Long who scored last game after the shambolics that happened last match, we really need to win this. Just to prove that, you know, we, we still got it. We're still deserving of the place we are here. Because we can beat Chelsea, we can beat teams like this. And the guy's stressed. There you go, Faith's all you need. And I'm expecting to see quality finishing. They never like that. He's a fine player. I don't know, talk about the 11 players. It's unfair, and he's a bit like a Swiss Army knife. The only issue with not having cup games is I get players that are getting really tired or lacking sharpness because I just don't have enough games to play everyone in. And Southampton actually have a good youth, so if I keep putting them in under 23s, I'm shunting myself for later on. But that was awful by Redmond, and we've conceded because of it, and it's two soon has scored. We're a minute in. I don't even think the goal was scored within a minute. It might have been under a minute. That was Red Mill do a, a back heel? What was that? Yeah, it was under a minute they scored him. Brilliant. We're going to have to ask for some passion now because that is unforgivable. Investigard who's come in is... It's not his fault, but it isn't the, the defence doesn't look good when I tape you plant. We concede that quickly. But Ward Prowse, once again, giving it to Hollisberg. Back to Ward Prowse. These two only pass to each other, as it seems. Redmond. Oh, Redmond. <laughs> I'm considering taking him off for only seven minutes in. Maybe, maybe he can rectify his mistakes here. Vestergaard, who's... He's drawn the player in and passed it to Bednarak, who's then put it all the way back to our keeper. I'm, I'm feeling rocky after the start of this. I'm not, I'm not feeling safe from them passing it back. Halishbag lumps it forward to Musa, who's going to try and dribble past this man. He's just not gotten past Van Arnold. But it's fallen to Ward Prowse, who passes to Halishbag. It's becoming a running joke at this point. Ryan Berkson's passed it to Shane Long. Shane Long's put it in for his sixth of the season. There's two games in a row he's scored. He's it, really, it really giving me issue. I'm going to have four strikers at this club. And I'm not going to know who I need to get rid of. Because someone's got to go. And Che Adams and Danny Ings are new. But Shane Long on this form, he's, he's not getting dropped. But before 10 minutes, two goals have been scored. So, I mean... End-to-end -end stuff. The Crystal Palace having three shots on target already is concerning. Hopefully it's just because the centre-backs haven't quite gelled yet. Valerie making his return to the team. Dribbling to the centre of the park. Lumps it forward to Redmond. Redmond slots it in. There we go. That's how you rectify your mistakes. But that ball by Jan Valerie was sublime. Right, let's have a look at that from that angle. The Ward Prowse has got the ball. He's pushed it past the two Palace players there. Ran straight into the middle of the park. Big ball over the top, over their defender to Redmond, who's hit that first time into the bottom left, or yeah, bottom right of the goal, just past the keeper. And we've turned this around. But Palace are now having their highlight, attacking our goal. This could be just like the Wolves game, a really long match that I don't really need to be so long. Armstrong is returned, he's slowly dribbling. I can't remember what his injury was, but hopefully he doesn't do anything too bad to himself running. Moose has got the ball, he's got it past, but he's smashed it into Sancho. Now Zaha, he's going to dribble, he's gone straight past our centre-back. I want to know who that is, because that was... That was Vestergaard, the guy who wanted the plate, he's let him go straight past him. Uh, this is why he doesn't play, because that is disgraceful defending. Max Meyer curls it in, and we've he's got it out. He's, right, he's made up for that little slip up he did a second ago with Zaha. And Moose has just managed to get that out for a throw-in. 
and the highlight <laughs> thankfully ends so I was getting a bit nervous there I'll drop some praise after pulling it back but even though both our players ratings have just dropped her in the green <laughs> but uh, hopefully the game settles down now we can just see this half out without too many highlights but our hold is getting apparently too much space which worries me because he's a right back isn't he or left back Bournemouth have beaten Leicester Leicester have been shocking this season I don't mean that in a good way go down Leicester oh they've come back up to 12 but even that I mean that's 15 points behind us that win you see the table there us it is uh, 6 points ahead of Chelsea if Chelsea had beaten us that match we'd be on equal points with them and probably we'd be behind on goal difference that one match has made a difference between 4th and 6th or fifth even because Bournemouth would have gotten pushed down. Arsenal have a game in hand which worries me. They're all, everyone's breathing down our necks now. The top teams had a rough start but they've really pulled it back. But this highlight's still going. Redmond I've just seen blast it unsurprisingly. I think Will Prowse has tried to get it off Zaha but Zaha's managed to get it back. We've got two men trying to get, get him but he's crossed that in still to Tucson who's headed it but thankfully it's gone over this time instead of into the back of the net. 2-1 by the end of the first half I don't know what to say don't get complacent it's Palace a team that definitely could pull this back and win this game still Max Myers curled that in and they've scored another header Luca Mivalos oh I've butchered his name but their captain is just smash that in they're doing us scoring headers from corners he shouldn't he should not be winning that there's three of our players in front of him all right 2-2 two, two. we got we still got time you know 35 minutes left in the match plenty of time to pull this back redmond and long must be having an awful game because they've both scored and they're just falling down rating wise Keepers passed it to our centre back, giving it to War Prowls, who's just lumped that forward. Got to Ryan, oh Ryan, not oh Ryan, um, Redmond. I thought it was Ryan Bertrand for a second. He tried to get to Musa, but the pass is awful. But it's fallen to our centre back, got to Halsberg, who then has it to Ryan Bertrand. He's just going to dink it to Redmond. Redmond's crossed that over to Musa. Musa's just slowly going to take his time with it. I thought he was going to let Valerie take it, but he's not. Valerie and him though are playing back to back. Zaha's making a dodgy tackle. I think that may go for a free kick. I'm hoping for a penalty, but yeah, a free kick. So I'll be I'm hoping more prowls will be on it. Yeah, he will be. He's, if he tries to curl that in, he's a madman. He's smashed it into the box, but Sancho's the one who's got there. Hollisberg gives it to Bednarak, gives it back to Hollisberg. He's given that to Redmond. I'm expecting a turn, but he's not. He's played it to Musa, who's just... He's trying to dribble past number three. He's not gotten past Van Arnhold, but he's also not gotten to the second ball, and the highlights just tinkered out. I'm looking at Musa's rating there. That, for a team that's winning 2-0, his rating shouldn't be that low. Same with Armstrong. But uh, I'm, I don't know what else to do. I, I can't bring off Long or Redmond. They've scored. I expect that form to, you know, hopefully pull out another goal. Olsberg's getting tired. Ward Prowse is getting tired. They're bringing on players that aren't really going to change the game. I'll bring off Olsberg for Romeo. A defensive midfielder for a tireless one. I didn't realise he was defensive, but alright. I'm going to demand more for the last 10 minutes. We're all focused. We've got a corner. Ward prowls. Whips that in. Centre back once again. He's just not done his job, but he's pushed it back in. Shane Long. Shane fucking Long. And Nathan Redmond. Redmond's really pulled him back. Every time I doubt him, he's done something. A goal, an assist. Shane Long's keeping Danny Ings out of the team, which I didn't accept that. But for a 32-year-old, 
I mean, that is a great header. Giroud esque type of header. Yeah, he's not offside. No one there. Cahill has done poor there defensive, but you know, you got to take what you can get. I said the second take there really weirdly. <laughs> We'll praise them, they're fired up. Oh, they've got a free kick. They've headed it, but we've caught it. We've lumped it forward quickly. Got on this Shane Long. He's passed up to Redmond. Redmond and Shane Long are running through. Redmond's on his own here. Redmond slots it for his second goal. Another assist by Shane Long. Nathan Redmond and Shane Long. Are they replacing the dream team of Danny Ings and Ward Prowse? Or Prowse, I actually, I've been saying his name wrong the whole time. I'm going to feel like a mug. But look at that. Shane Long just dinked it to him. After, let's not forget that quick kick by our keeper was essential for that goal. And that has put the game to bed. And we've won the game 4-2 after a really ropey start. We've managed to pull this back. You know, I'm a passionate. I'm very nice. It is a nice victory. To come back from losing, that's a great thing to do. We'll send our assistant and we will look when we will be back for the next episode. We're holding on to fourth, so, you know, you got to do what you got to do. I think we're in December now. Are we in December? Are we still in November? Oh, we're well into December. Jeez, I didn't realise. So, I'm thinking we come back for the... Newcastle Watford game that way the yeah Newcastle Watford be the first FA Cup game and our new signings will be here for the Newcastle game assuming we can play them but anyway guys that has been the fifth episode of Southampton Saviors thank you all for watching I'll see you next time good